All right, recording has been started, and I just realized it's gonna go in the wrong, uh, what do you want to call it, but that's fine. Whatever. Oh, oh, all right. Um... So, who wants to tell me what happened last week? I mean, I can give a very brief rundown. Go for it. Um, we make it back to town, have six days downtime, which is the only reason Victor has not been harassed for six days. Um, then are uh, having breakfast when we hear the sounds of arguing. Um, a lot of arguing. As, uh, Navi and Lacrimosa are basically the two- uh, being the two bitches who think that they are running the group project. And think that the other one doesn't bring anything to the table. So are uh, refusing to listen to the other one. Victor intervened. Um, basically gave Navi an out. We discovered the uh, Navi told Victor, and therefore it was relayed to us, that Victor is... Uh, that Navi is back early and possibly has some work for us related to... What she is back early for, I believe that she was supposed to be talking to a contact who got fucking murdered. Um, we did some various shopping, uh, bought a whole lot of potions, then we went to Naga Arcana, Naga's Arcana, which was run by someone who has absolutely been a human the whole time, and I will not accept otherwise. God bless. Um... Who I immediately went, oh, French-shaped. Um, got funky little trinkets, bypassed picking up a Zora mask. I'm sure we won't need that later. No, there's no, there's no relevance to the, to the Zora mask. Um, I have bought presents for various people. Um, I and Fern had some bonding, and then... That night, we headed to the, um, Sweetwater. Sweetwater Tavern to go meet up with Navi to discuss the friend of hers that got fucking murked. Um, and Navi, meanwhile, was getting reacquainted with our newest party member. Uh, a.k.a. having a hell of a hookup to recover from the stress of a day dealing with Lacrimosa being a cunt. Um, yeah, <laughs> we get to Sweetwater, are waiting, I think, like an hour before, uh, an hour after we had said we were going to meet Navi. When Victor you goes said, up... You guys said 9 or 9.30. Oh, okay. Was and it was 10 when Victor uh, went to find Navi. So te half uh, an hour to an mind. hour late, depending on your yeah. interpretation. Yeah. Um, and found the only of the hookup rooms that had a closed door. Knocked on it and was greeted by our new party member. Completely tits out. Um, well, not just tits out, everything out. Uh, Navi was in the back like you're not even gonna put a okay sure I meanwhile am gonna put clothes on also accurate uh, Victor looked slightly disrespectfully <laughs> slightly and was like alright um And a few minutes later, the two did head down to come meet us. And I believe we got at least basic introductions with... Yeah. You guys Danella. were able to introduce yourselves to Danela, um, who is currently um, hanging off of Navi's arm as you are all sitting at a table in the corner of Sweetwater. Um, and... Uh, Navi had just told everyone um, that 
she'd been out of town to meet a friend of hers. And upon her arrival at their, uh, at her destination, found out that he was dead and had been murdered. And she wants you all to find out who did it. And that is where we begin with her having made that proclamation, sitting there at the table, drink in hand. Ah, uh, okay. So I had sequence of events slightly off, but that's fine. It's fine. And I am off doing um, errands right now, or? Uh, if you would like to be here with the party, you may be. If you would like to not and catch up later, you may also be. I'll it wait is your choice for, for to I'll wait for comedic timing. Comedic time. Okay. Yeah. You will, sure, sure. You will end up with an armful of papers. You will end up at Sweetwater at some point in the in the upcoming future. Everyone else, um, Navi has just said she wants you to solve a murder. See why oh. you asked her specifically. Yes. Well. I don't know, you've proven yourself capable of finding people so far. True. Okay. Um specialty work, shall we? Well, more details. All right. Yeah, were you, um... Uh, when you had gotten that message to meet up with your friend, was that from them directly, or, uh... I had been... Ah, I had to put this. I had found myself in need of a favor from him and read that uh, to request a time when we might speak chat about it and he replied um with available dates and times and I was proceeding forward as planned to the last I'd heard from him so, you understand I was slightly shocked to find him dead. Yes. I had just been curious if it had been something already set up and... You yes, know. it was a planned trip, not a surprise. Um, well, I just wanted to know I if he had been the one to, uh, you know, contact you. He did not reach out to me initially, no. Um, he rarely does. He's sort of a recluse, but a good friend. Uh, however, uh, the gentleman in question is, uh, was, excuse me, you'll have to pardon me, I'm a little, a little interesting, a little shocking, still, ah, uh, his name was Hundress Mudspine. And he was a uh, mortician who worked in the city of Fonterra. You told the name of Chapley. I will. Yeah, and and that, the yeah. name of the place too, if possible. I will type everything. Don't worry. Thank you, because my because <laughs> audio trying to figure stuff out. No, no good brain. <laughs> Reheated cheese brain. <laughs> Uh, God. As they know, call it. Um, you know how it'd be. <laughs> he lived and worked in Fonterra. And he was found dead after not um, turning up to work with a hole in his skull and a rope around his neck. 
overkill. Yeah. I thought so. Okay. I... I suppose I don't know quite where I ought to start elaborating. But that's the basic Okay, there's no signs of any tre there was no sign of forced entry into his home. Besides the fact that he was dead. I, I suppose the first place to think of was like if you knew of his affairs, if anyone would have wanted to kill him, it's the obvious question, but I'm, I'm suppose you've considered it already. Yes, so, no, I wasn't aware of any outstanding murder plots against my dear friend. Um... But did you know much of his affairs at all? Or... I knew as I needed to know. Um... For... Yeah. Business, and he was... I mean, as a mortician, there really isn't all that much I should think that one could do in the line of one's work to, uh, I don't know, well, they're sort of already working on the dead, you see, so it's not like they've got many people to piss off. Um, the dead have many secrets. Indeed they do. Him among them, I'm sure. Well, no, I don't immediately know of anything that stirs trouble for him beyond, of course, well, he owed me a favour. But certainly that's not a uh, reason for anything. You know, it doesn't make sense. I'm trying to phrase this delicately, but if somebody owes a favour, then far more use alive than dead, because very few favours can be accomplished once one has passed away. Well, there is a thought of... Has anybody else who's owed favours, you know, come back this way? Ended up dead? Of late, I mean, well, Adadir has been brought back to us alive and well, so. and no one else in my immediate vicinity, or knowledge at least, has been unexpectedly. Well, you know, there's certain people who, it's their line of work, of course, they're going to dragon one day, but none of the ones who uh, one doesn't anticipate an untimely death have turned up with one, so. Alright, two questions. One perhaps a little more stupid than the other, but we're covering a hole in the head and a rope around the neck. We presume there is good evidence that this is not self-inflicted? Yes, well... It's almost quaint, you see, because it's that... It almost seemed, according to my understanding, that it was intended to appear as such with the rope on the neck. However, again, the hole in the head. Um, possibly but, but... from a firearm of some sort. It's not clear. Those things are unpredictable at the best of times. They... There was nothing present at the scene that could have inflicted such a wound, and therefore I find it doubtful that he inflicted it and then banished the uh, tool used to create it. Well, That's I dead. About, what I was about to point out, such holes can be self-inflicted, but fair enough. Secondly, is it reasonable to ask what favor he asked to incur such a debt? Oh, well. That's not really... 
five is missing anymore, as it were. It was quite some time ago. Decades, actually. And hardly... Hardly something I expect he was concerned much about these days. So... Enough. I still thought perhaps a relevant line of inquiry. <laughs> and further clarification, if you don't mind me tackling the third one. I oh, please do. Presumably he was dead before you met with him? Yes. Uh, you see, I arrived in town, uh, home where we had intended to meet, and found... Well... It had been, uh, roped off, uh, as they do when these things take place, and upon some inquiry and a few suggestions, I was permitted to... They took him to his old workplace, which makes sense, of course. He was an artisan. No, but it was very interesting, you know. It's like you walk in and it's, his office is there, but his body is on the table and on the other room. So, strange. It was very strange. I do have a question, though. Um, how long dead had he been, if you knew? Uh, he was dead. I arrived the day after his demise. Or the day after. Well, it seems that he uh, must have perished in the night and the next morning uh, he wasn't come to work and so that afternoon they sent someone looking for him and then they discovered it and I arrived the day after that. If that makes sense. Yes. It does. So, yeah. Not ideal. Can I can I get a vibe on her? Go ahead and make a sense motive check if you'd like. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's going to be a 23. 23, okay. Can I also attempt to sense motive? Yeah, anybody who wants to sense motive Navi at this point is welcome to do yeah. so. Why not? Ah, fuck it, why not? Sid doesn't After have a good all, sense motive. why but... not? After all, why not? Oh, why shouldn't I sense motive? I think that's just a straight 16 uh... for me. Yeah. That would have been an alright roll if I had a modifier. <laughs> 16 is still an alright roll! Yeah, I mean, that, that's what I was saying. <laughs> 23? I'm just a 23. Oh, no. Yeah, 23. Okay. Uh, um, yeah, so with those rolls, Nobby definitely seems like she's almost not in shock over this but she's still a little bit reeling from the fact that she has to conceptualize of this person as dead um it does seem like it's it's a little interesting because at once when she says her very dear friend it seems like it's in the way that she refers to everyone as her very dear friend but on the other hand, she does seem genuinely um, distressed at this death, despite trying to uh, veil it at least a little bit. Mm. Um, and yeah, there's sort of an undercurrent of frustration um, mm. that I think everybody, but yeah, Aya and Victor, you notice that she seems a little frustrated. 
uh, yeah. after everybody else gets the other stuff that I said. Gotcha. Might it have been... I kind of tilts her head and flicks the fan a little bit while she's trying to put this into words. Might it have been a strike at you instead? Oh. Oh, I sincerely doubt that. I... There are far easier ways to strike at me. And I don't really know that anyone knows of my association with him beyond that girl found John from the Quaker. So, no, I don't find that much of a good call. I don't think anybody can be asked. You're getting kind of muffled for me, PK. Either. Okay, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> I can only understand no, no, like every no, three no, or yeah. four words, so. Why? Hold on, I'll disconnect and reconnect. Okay. Feral desire okay. to buy my friends good microphones. <laughs> yeah, I actually had it. I actually switched from my um, in line microphone, like one attached to a headset, to a, you know, one that you just plug in and sits across from you. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it was cheap because it was on half off on Amazon at the time, and uh, my friend has it, and um, they sounded fine, so I bought it, and yeah, no, one of the best uh, choices I made mm. in a I'm, while. I'm liking my mic. As long as it's set up right, it works really well. Pete. Hello. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to also, I'm sorry. People in this chat are just simply not allowed to call me Peek. It's too, it's too <laughs> cursed for me. Um, so, am I sounding a little better? Uh, mm -hmm. yes. I think so. Yes. If it gets... Just try and, like, as much as possible, like, talk into wherever your mic is, I hope. Maybe. <laughs> that will probably Parker, help. I do love... Parker, do I, I love sound fine name. right now? Yes. Yes, yeah. you sound yeah. fine right now. Okay, I have not changed the position that I'm sitting in, so... Yeah, you sound better. Thank you. Thank you, Nocturne. <laughs> yes. I have lost where I was at in my conversation. Um, it was something to do um, with... After we had sense motived, um... Oh, she was responding to Aya. Yeah. So, yes. she does say... I really don't think that's the case. We're not known to be close friends. Don't know that we're known to be more than casual acquaintances. And I don't believe that my visit was known to be to see him directly. So I find it very unlikely that it was a strike against me. Not to mention there's easier ways to strike. You would done... if it was a strike to... No, go ahead. If it was a strike to the Axis as a whole, again, far more interesting targets, I should think. Far more... Well, frankly, targets that are far more valuable than an old mortician. But... Anyway, no, I don't think that's the case. And welcome the train. Thanks, the Alma Michigan train. I hear him. Thank you, Alma Michigan train. Fuck you, train. Fuck you, train. <laughs> Fuck you, train, you middling to, uh, 2010s uh, kind of shit band. Hey, I miss train. <laughs> guys, remember, guys remember train? Case. Hey, you guys remember the song Hey Soul Sister? Yeah! yeah. Hey, what the soul fuck sister. is that song? <laughs> I used to have a friend that I would jam out to with that on the bus. Uh, we called ourselves Soul Sisters. It was great. <laughs> oh my god, Ren, that's so cringy. It was very oh, cringy. No, cringe is dead! But I was yeah, a child. I was a child dead. and I loved her very much, so. 
I, I, I go on Twitter. Make, I've seen people. I go on Twitter. I see people with NFT pictures. Cringe is not dead. I one time I made a flip a warrior catch, um, shipping flip note animation to drive by by train. Yeah. I was like, oh, oh my god. god. No. Yes! You can't just say these words in the middle of my Pathfinder game. Well, the train yeah, brought it on, it. so I... Like... should. Uh, does anyone remember the song, uh, like, Ways to Say You Died or whatever the yeah. fuck? Yeah, yeah, oh, I love God, that one yeah. so much. Yeah, but, have, the one that was off the only... of the opera? Yeah, I was about to be like, yeah, am I the only motherfucker on the planet who realizes that the verses sound just like the, uh, um, Phantom of the Opera? Oh yeah, my God. it is. What? It, that's my... Yeah, oh my yeah God. that was the reason I liked it. <laughs> Hayden and I have been losing our shit about that since we first that's... heard the song, and we hate it. That's fucked up. Yeah, I, I loved it. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's oh, I hate it's that. Oh, no. Yeah. That's why I loved it at the time. I was like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, train facts over. <laughs> Train <laughs> over. Train done with. <laughs> Resume. We're, we're done with trains. Uh, we're 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 talking about murder. <laughs> yeah, we're murdering trains. Yeah, we are murdering yeah. trains. We are murdering trains. The band from the early 2010s. God, the, the train in 2022. <laughs> So anyway, Decades long past. Anyways, you're talk you're talking about murder. <laughs> um, I I kind of nods in understanding, but she hopes it's an understandable question to ask. Um, and was uh, Lady Lacrimosa privy to where you were going, and what you were doing? Or anyone else, for that matter. I would like you to think about whether you think I would tell her. Obviously not, but I figured to ask anyways. I suppose it was a reasonable enough question. If you assume that she might know where your whereabouts were. She knew where I was going. I told her it was for... Well, frankly, I told her it was for a lot of things. But I didn't mention that. Alright. <sighs> Don't feel like we're asking quite the right amount of questions. Um... Do you know what he was up to the few days before he passed? As far as I knew, he was working. Okay. I mean, I don't really know what they do day in and day out, morticians. I know they go to... I know when they need to declare people dead, they look at the bodies or do autopsies or like that, but I don't really know, uh, I don't know the specifics of his daily work schedule, his, uh, assistants all said just they were surprised he didn't come in, and, yes, so I imagine what he was doing in the few days before he passed was looking at other people's bodies with no conception that he was seen to be on the table himself. If a mortician is doing your autopsy, then it's a bit of a failure there, but... I don't know if mortician is the right... ...word. It's the work with... ...dead things. He says he's... ...mortician or examiner or something like that. There's, there's, there are three options. A morticianer, a... A uh, coroner or a medical examiner. That is to do autopsies and examinations and such. The former just prepares you for the <laughs> This is this is the part of the session where it's like 
PK decided that they probably didn't need to get that specific in their fantasy setting because they the jobs can probably be all blent together into one. Um, and the players said, no, Navi doesn't know what she's talking about. Um, God. Victor is um actually a Navi. Um, <laughs> Parker is um actualing my my like death related <laughs> professions that are present Get in the Pathfinder campaign. Get your fucking mansplaining um, out of here! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I have <laughs> updated the counter. Like somewhere, Skylar just feels really happy for some reason, and it doesn't know why. God. Um. <laughs> yeah. So now there's there's yes. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> They're different again. <laughs> Navi just doesn't know what she's talking about in this instance. Um. He runs a coronary oh business, God. and there is morticians there, and he does all three jobs because he's he's cool. It's fine. <laughs> and he just calls himself a mortician to be dramatic. <laughs> At some point in his life, he was regularly conducting examinations, and at other points in his life, maybe he prepares bodies for funerals. Frankly, I don't really know. His work is not really the important thing to me, I'm afraid. So it could be to the investigation. I suppose it could. Again, I feel like... (laughs) I just... I don't know what sort of grudges that sort of person gets. Victor is autistic and needed to needed to point this out. I do I do love her actually. Yes. Um anyway, sorry. You're good. That was funny. (laughs) Anyway. (sighs) Uh, But yeah, Navi's just like works with bodies, you have to ask his people if you go there what he actually does. <laughs> so you were heading to speak to him about something? Yes, I was. May we ask the broad strokes of what? I already told you, I need a favor. Alright, my final question. Which direction are we walking? Well, if you're going to, uh... If you're going to Sonterra, it's... Northwest? More west than north. Mm. Um, and and I have a question. What is your question? Do you believe that the favor you are going to speak with him about um, is in any way relevant? I do not know. Then I don't think that uh, there is any reason for us to ask about it further. I appreciate that. No, even he didn't know what I was going to ask him about. I just said I needed to speak to him. So, if that's the extent of information that's somehow connected to his stuff, frankly, that's more of my problem than it is yours. Or not. But I don't think that was it. Hey, out of character, what direction are we coming from when we found the bodies of the weird beasts? You were coming from the north. Okay. Um, would this... Uh, she said west, right? Uh, uh northwest, north west, west, but closer north. to west. Okay. Um, that's... So, west, northwest. So... Mm, I'm trying to think. Is that a direction we probably should have av- like for for forest context? Okay, for forest context, west is forest direction. God damn! All right, 
Hmm. Um. But if anybody wants more details on where Sonterra specifically is located, make a knowledge geography check. I would like to try. Go for it. Oh, that was not yes. good. Uh. God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think a six will do it. Probably not, no. You don't know where this place is. Um, Sonterra is the capital city of the province. And is as such where the, uh, where the Grand Duchess lives. And is indeed, uh, west-northwest. And to put it in forest context... If, if, like, forest is, like, at one end of a map and where you are right now is at the other end of the map, like, Sonterra is, like, one-third of the map back towards the forest, but there's still two-thirds of the map left. Before um, you start reaching forest. Alright. Um... I, I think considering this is Aya, she does kind of... Would it, would, would it be reasonable to assume it's like a week and a half, maybe two weeks of... Yeah. Uh, interestingly, uh, it probably is a week and a half there, a week and a half back. It has... It, it was not three weeks ago that Nobby left. Yeah. And yet... Okay. She's here. She's here. Hmm. And she was there. Now, it, it is possible, not necessarily likely, but it is possible she has the type of contacts that can give her access to teleportation. Um, but I doesn't know shit about that. But I, I will kind of... Uh, about a week and a half, no less... They tend to trade in a lot of luxury goods. That's not relevant, but it's just... Yes. Very fine jewelry, then. Ah, uh, but yes. What are we gonna have? What? Oh. While you are on the Northern Road, this is not necessarily related, but I'm wondering if maybe you heard something about something we saw. Oh. She, she's gonna give the bare bones rundown about the weird, um, cold shadow stuff monster things. I know that's not quite accurate, but that, that's the only way my brain is letting me. She seems a little confused as you're describing this, and, uh, well, I don't know. I had not heard anything about that, nor indeed did I witness it, although I was on that road, so... That's very interesting. You are better connected than at least I am, so I wanted to see if you had perhaps heard. No, I can and... certainly ask around and see I can't. Just because I didn't pass that way doesn't mean other people haven't, and other people haven't started digging. I'm sure they have, in fact, huh? Thank you for letting me know about that. I'll be taking a... Taking a look myself, I suppose. I... I must ask. How... how was your... your travel? Um, did you notice anything strange along the way? I can't say I did. I... Rarely do I travel quick and light, and I don't tend to stop and chat when I'm on the road. I much prefer. I much prefer to be settled in a in a spot before I start. Uh, well, I do hate having conversations on the road. If I'm honest, much more comfortable to have them places like this. 
as very this is said, me. somebody is like chucked through uh, the door <laughs> onto a table, um, and the table comes like goes clattering over. Um, and if if Skylar wants to follow that up and enter, this is a fine time. Jamie, if you'd like to join the conversation. Yeah, yeah, I think Skylar would uh, follow in shortly after the person uh, was thrown through the door. It looks like they were the one who threw them, but they have noodle arms, so obviously they weren't. They just walked <laughs> Would in, might have been. Quirk eyebrow at the guy on the, uh, on the well, the person on the, uh, that was thrown and the table, uh, thrown at the table, and uh, they just shake their head. Then they turn to you guys and see, oh, Nobby's back. But then they see someone naked standing next to Navi, and then no, that's no, no, she's not no, naked. No, no, she is she dressed. Danella is okay, redressed. God. Yes, oh, that was just God. that was that, that was the the meeting from Victor. Uh, yeah, Victor's the only one God. who's seen this woman's tits so far. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I had clarified that Danella did get dressed before she had to dip back downstairs. However. Yeah. Yeah, no, you did not. Thank good. Thank good. I'm glad I know now, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, she's close. God bless. Um, yeah, just see the new person there. Assume, oh, look, maybe Navi has another. What should he call them? Close friends, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, look, Navi has another close friend, and then, it's, oh God, what are they? What? What the fuck are these guys up to now? And then I will. Uh, Rude. Yeah, Victor will kind of motion over. Yes. So, um, what's the occasion for this uh, gathering? They say as they take a seat. Something you might be interested in specifically, Skylar, mm -hmm. actually. And he don't say. Navi here has put another murder on our plates. Hmm. Mm -hmm. don't say. That. that makes it sound like I killed someone. <laughs> Oh, did you? And <laughs> Mark's at the Swirks at her. Also, can I insight check that? Yes, absolutely. Insight check whether Navi had, uh, whether Navi killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> that is most likely yes, but um, oh, I actually rolled low. Uh, but that doesn't matter because of my stupid subclass thing. Um, that's a seven plus. Uh, Currently, it is 17, I think. Um, yeah, 24. 24. He said it with all the confidence of somebody who has never murdered someone. Huh. That's actually surprising. Skyl just doesn't, doesn't try to show that she's su they're surprised, but just nods. So then, um, who are we looking into? Um, I suppose you guys have gathered the relevant information. Uh, I'm working on it. Victor will nod. Um, give give uh, Skylar a quick a quick catch up. Yeah. So, yeah. associate yeah. of Navi's coroner and or mortician Hondras Mudspine, um, who is a mortician in the city of Santerra, which is not far away, Skylar, from your hometown. Um, and, like, it's probably four days' travel from your hometown. And, uh, found dead, hole in his head, maybe a firearm and a rope around his neck, and no current motive or uh, other leads at the moment, is the gist that you are given. Santero, huh? Santero? Santeros? Santera. 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 So, as it so happens, that's quite close to where I am from. Where is it? Where are you from, Skyler? Oh crap, I gotta open the documents. Oh no, one Whitcroft. second. Um, I'm from Whitcroft, if you know the place. Of course I know Whitcroft, yes. Yes, no, um, interesting. Didn't think I'd be going home this quickly. Um, so, is there anything else you can, you know, let us know before 
<sighs> yes. We begin your investigation. I'm being perfectly honest, I'm not typically, um, this is the sort of favour I usually ask, so I don't really have much, I don't know what else I really want to tell you. Hmm. Is there more I'm that happy you could? to answer questions as, re as required. Is there more you could tell us that you can't tell us then? Uh, well, there's certainly things I could tell you that are none of your business, nor are they relevant, but I try to tell you everything I consider relevant. Yeah, they'll just nod at that. <sighs> Let's put what they So, I do you know would if, also... Um, I would also like Fern, Skylar, and Victor to make knowledge history checks. Sure. I recently just buffed knowledge history. Yo, that's show nineteen. Fern, Same. Skylar, and Victor, uh, put your put your numbers mm. in the chat yeah. um, for uh, knowledge history. Sorry to exclude. Nice. I love Fern so much. <laughs> Um, we are shaking hands with the sixes. <laughs> um, Woo! Fern, none of this has 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 rung a bell to you whatsoever. Um, I think I am gonna do this one in whispers. Actually, um, do you no. want me to follow do you, you uh... into there for recording's sake, or no? No, not for this one either. Um, I will. I'll just, I'm sure you guys can make notes as required, and if you need clarification on information, I will give it to you. Let's do Skylar first. Jamie, let's come to Whispers. Okay. You know, I have one point of mod higher than, than Skylar on history. Nice. Yeah! Special I interest love buff. the one point higher. It is incredibly powerful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think PK is going to start killing. Yeah. That's no, it's all right. 40. Oh, yeah, it's 40. The killing will so, start so in a few minutes. I levels. should start being concerned uh, in a little bit when I up my performance slightly more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll get At the there. moment, I can hit a 37 with perform. I really wish I could up Sith's. Um storytelling well i can technically i can up it a couple more times his like listen and story or no his listen is kind of like capped right now uh, which is annoying damn it <laughs> pocket do, do you want to see something that i have discovered exists that is a little guy yeah little guy derogatory little guy just a little guy oh god damn it my nail polish oh i love him Actually, I love him. <laughs> there's also a corner for one. And th th there's also for a lot of the other characters, but there's like a tweet for the corner for one. Show show, show him to Nocturne. Okay, Nocturne, would you like to see a little guy? Yes, always. It's a little Hollow Knight guy. Please. I knew it. When you said little guy and you showed Parker immediately, I'm like, it's gotta be Hollow Knight. <laughs> um... Yes! The guy! <laughs> oh my goodness. I need him in my life. When he's a Hold guy. Hold on, I'll also send the corner for. Oh my god, the, so you the, guys corner can... for, the corner for hums. How big is he? 9.5 inches tall. How nice. big is that? It's a little under their foot, so like... I'm thinking like this, the Ranboo sit, but like a little shorter. Like the length of my four. Just a little you guy. A big boy. A little big guy. Yes. Ideal. Oh my god, they have a version of the shade that also plays the music. Yes.
Look at these. Unfortunately, they are somewhat expensive, but yeah. Mm. The teacher wants to see you now. Okay. Gaming. Gaming. Uh, th this is the corner for one. Uh, Nocturne. Oh and yes, God. I know, I'm sending you Twitter links, but sometimes Twitter is... It's fine. Twitter links. Listen, sometimes the content official, is there. Official Twitter links are, like, fine, right? Like, it's like, oh, it's an announcement, but on Twitter, it's like, this is an acceptable link to Twitter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Twitter links, or if you abbreviate, if you, uh, uh, portmanteau them, twinks. God. I'm so just now I won't do um... that. <laughs> I need the spam- they- oh my god, they're gonna have a Spampton plush. Nice. And it's gonna talk. Oh god. Uh... Excellent. God, that makes um... me think about the curse fact that I have a friend that, like, when they send memes, they only send them from their Facebook, and I'm like, why? Why would you do this? I am not going on Facebook to look at your stupid memes. No. <laughs> But yes, Hollow Knight, little guy. Little guy. I'm gonna be right back. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> Man, I feel like that nap I took didn't do much for me. <laughs> Oof. Dang it. In fact, I'm gonna send the first of the little guys, because I know you guys don't really have an investment in Hollow Knight, except for the fact that it uh, it makes Parker Nocturne and me oh, receive serotonin. Mm -hmm. But yeah, look at this little guy. Aww. Look at this yeah. little dude. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I've, I've played the game for quite a few years now. Fair enough. I'm just... That genre of game, like, stuff is not my thing usually. That's why I haven't played Celeste. Which, like, yeah. Wow. But, yeah. I I get it. I understand. It's cute. Welcome back, homosexuals. Hello. I'm gonna actually be right back one more time, because I am, one, need to pee, and two, I want to get some cookie dough. So nice. we're gonna take a short little yeah. recess, since we're already slightly recessed for the whispers. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I am gonna go grab my Arizona iced tea. Mmm. I want iced tea. I just have Gatorade. Oh my god, there's a, there's a piano sheet music book for the Hollow Knight score. Oh! For like 25 bucks, damn. <laughs> Excuse me. I I is that something you would like as a present? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you play piano? Yes. Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, I've been a pianist for pretty much my entire life. I've played for wow. years. Cool, cool little fact I didn't remember. That's nice. E um. It's just that having a piano is so fucking obnoxious if you're not. Yeah, um, we have a piano here. Come play here. <laughs> it's It I, needs I have... desperately to be tuned, but, like, we have one. <laughs> I, I have a piano here. I actually have a big, upright, uh, like, beautiful piano. Um, mm -hmm. That is mine huh. to take whenever I move out. Hell um, yeah. Yeah, we've got, I like, a... Take it to call. Yeah. No, that's too unruly. We have like a- I forget what type of thing it is, but it's a, like a Kimball. My grandmother's had it for at probably, least 20 years. <laughs> probably an upright. We also have a Yeah. Kimble. Yeah, we- we have Sorry, an upright. Sorry, I have- I have- a, I have opinions on piano make. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, you've probably seen pictures of it if I've taken any of, like, Lance that were pretty. Um, mm -hmm. it's been the focus point <laughs> at points. Yeah, no, I've played a p played piano for almost twenty years. Nice. God, I 
one mm, man i i wish i could have learned instruments when i was a child <laughs> guys this fanfic never, is so good good never too late to start run look i know too but also i what? have so many other things that i'm doing all the time um learning and, an instrument and learning oh yeah piano of any sort when i'm already desperately bad with sheet music um you have a piano not yeah i do oh, okay. it's just not tuned um yeah. but like in general though it would have been easier to do when i was younger and had time to practice and i don't have time to practice right now yeah i'm too terrible. tired yeah. <laughs> yeah when you get okay. home you want to relax so well okay, it wouldn't we be too bad together. oh when we move okay. in together, I have a um, a keyboard uh, as well nice. that will probably be with me. I could always teach you some stuff. That would be nice. Because, yeah, like, I, I really tried when I was a kid. Guitar. My dad used to have an electric um, keyboard for a very long number of years, and he never bothered to teach any of us, um, even though he could play pretty well. And, like, that was, like, the thing that our family did, which, like, most of my family on his side is, like, musically inclined or of several nice. sorts so like he knew how to play guitar and piano and like i think uh, what was the other one something else i think he knew how to play violin um and i wish i, I could have learned also, any of those <laughs> i also have three instruments so yeah nice. i honestly yeah. when i was a kid i tried to beg my parents so i could have um instrument time no instrument time for me <laughs> yeah i really oh, want to well, get into back. welcome Hi. back I'll I really want to learn guitar. It's something I wanted to do since I was a kid. Yeah. And like, but like, you know, it's when you're, it's instruments expensive. They are uh, very expensive. Now, yeah. But like now there's a lot more people, like companies are making more like high quality, affordable instruments. Mm -hmm. You don't have to pay like, you know, hundreds of dollars for a uh, fucking like, um, uh, yeah. it's a Fender or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, it just, uh, yeah, I know. It was nice in school yeah. that you could rent instruments, because, like, there was a thing in my school where it was, like, for, like, a hundred bucks or something a year, you could rent an instrument. Um, my mileage might be a little different, but I mm -hmm. found guitar the easiest of the instruments to teach myself that I know how to play. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, it doesn't seem too difficult. It's mostly just you have to learn how, like, you know, um, finger placement and learning um, the chords and stuff like that, and then, like, yeah. reading sheet music, I guess. But, like, um... Yeah, guitar, it's just you know, guitar I sheet, guitar sheet is also much different than a lot of uh, than like sh traditional sheet music. Yeah, yeah guitar like, are way more intuitive than like regular yeah. ass sheet music. Mm -hmm. Like anyway. I, I decided to take um uh um a choir class and uh when I first started uni, and I I because I, I wanted to go in and learn like how to sing like modern stuff, right? But it was like no. it was like Italian opera, yeah. and like also. It was also like a secondary language because you have to learn how to read sheet music. And I was like, I was well, too, it was eight yeah. in the morning. I wasn't going to learn a secondary language at eight in the morning. Hi, Nocturne. I, I, uh, did, I, I did I, choir for I, like two years. I hated it. And reading sheet music was a pain in the ass. <laughs> I, I learned sheet music when I was in elementary school, like in that time when your neuroplasticity is good for learning a second language. Yeah. So it basically is my second language. Um, nice, nice. Oh. Same, except we only, because we were a trombone player, we only know how to read bass clef. Oh no! We can't read, we can't read treble clef at all. Wait, I can read babe, treble and bass. You were a trombone player? Yeah. <laughs> you played trombone? <laughs> yeah, all through, all through, uh, fourth grade up until eighth grade. Nice. I like how babe. What? Back Facts about you I never in my life would have fucking guessed. God. <laughs> well, would hey, this you, hey. be an appropriate right. time to say that I played flute in school band for you? Nice. Oh my god. Uh, no, <laughs> See, flute, no, you flute guys... for Joe makes more sense than trombone for Nocturne for me. Yeah, uh, no, you guys, here's the thing. Oh, no, here's the hmm. thing. You have to understand. Um, it this we're gonna tell you guys this story and it's gonna be fucking crazy that we didn't get an autism diagnosis at a young age um because when we were eight years old um we were really obsessed with star wars and that's when in like third grade you selected your instrument 
to play a fourth grade and they had like a instrument showcase in the gym and the trump person who was demonstrating the trombone played the star wars theme and we oh were fucking God. sold yeah yeah uh, but I, I i kid you not that is the entirety of the reasoning <laughs> nice um, um, our club penguin name was 8SW8, and the SW stood for Star Wars, baby. Nice. Fuck yeah. Uh, when when I was in band, I was the person who did that, uh, did the did the demonstration for the younger kids, and I always did the uh, the Shire theme on the flute. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, I love that. For a motherfucker so. who doesn't watch Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Right. But also, to, I, mean, I wanted to be said that I tried to make Parker do an 11-hour Lord of the Rings marathon with me when I was in Ohio, and he said no. I will do that with you, per please. <laughs> Extended edition. Yeah, if if <laughs> I can somehow, please, make it for Gay Vampire, I will. Yes. Absolutely, yeah. we have to do an a, a extended yeah. edition Lord of the Rings watch. And either bake oh, and or hours. cook, because it's great. <laughs> it's necessary. You don't get all the shit if you don't watch the extended edition. Yeah, I, that's what I said. All eleven hours. Yeah, we gotta. <laughs> I feel like it's been a while since we've watched Lord of the Rings. Yes, and I can't. <laughs> and I can't remember. I I I I'm pretty sure what we did. We did ever watch them all at once, but I'm pretty sure what we did. What we did watch were the extended editions because I don't think our parents would own. Like, our parents went out of their way to buy, like, the original, unedited version of Star Wars, um, oh, like, yeah, of, yeah. The, of, the of the original the trilogy. Edition, like, yeah. yeah. A, like, y'all have, y'all have a pre-Lucas's bullshit original Star yes. Wars trilogy? Yes. Yeah, that's at the very, at the very least, um, A New Hope. Like, the VHS, right? Uh, I think it, I actually don't know if it's a VHS, I don't remember, it might be. Yeah. But it also yeah, might a be a CD. Yeah, oh, okay, because yeah, the VHSs um, are so fucking hard to find. They're like the holy grail for Star Wars collectors I, right now. I don't, I don't know. I don't actually remember what they're on because it's been. I think it's CD, but I can ask. Oh. I think it's literally in the next room. Right. That's so um, cool though. But yeah, there. It's the un unedited pre Lucas bullshit version, and that's the only I... one we've never seen. That we've never seen the Lucas bullshit version. Never in our life. Uh, it's oh my sad god! Because at one point we're blessed. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, they have Han shoot first. Um, you know, Greedo yes. shoot first. When Greedo was... shoot first. It's like, why? It's also like messes up Han's characterization if he doesn't it shoot does. first. He's supposed to and shoot first. Stop. That's the point. <laughs> Star Wars anyway, discourse. And the Star Wars funny. discourse has been caught on recording. Yeah. Mm. I'm, gl I'm glad we yeah. are all in agreement on who shot first. I don't want to have that argument with my good, good friends. Um, yeah, it's like, I'm sorry. It's like, I'm sorry, Jamie. You got to leave the games. Um. <laughs> God. No, no Greedo truthers here. <laughs> like that shit. Oh. Anyways, anyway, Pathfinder. <laughs> the thing is, like, we are like a minute out from Ash just getting out of work, so we're gonna we're gonna do the okay, cool. lazy version of that. Right, because well, Ash just will be here soon. Take two uh, fifty minutes. Do we want to continue shit posting for the next like minute and a bit? Sure. We can. Yeah. This is our time to yes, shine. On, on the contingency Shh. that when Ash just gets here, we enter game mode again. Okay. We mm. shift into game mode. Mm. Quiet. I'm shifting oh, into God. gamer mode. I got it. I got to stay focused. I'm shifting into yeah, gamer mode. Yeah, there we go. Mode. Yeah. <laughs> do you all want me to the... you? Do you want me to edit the George Costanza meme? I can do it right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Please. It's necessary. I think you should anyway, because I think we'll probably get a lot of use out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that that will get a lot of mileage. That needs to be like the spam thing we do in the beginning of the episode. Like, quiet. We need to play. <laughs> just everybody just spam the gamer mode image. Yeah. Uh, also, it is very important to me that you guys look at the Tumblr post I sent to chat. I saw him. Yeah. He's a pocket dog. I I cannot because oh, if I do, it will be a recording on this recording, unfortunately. But I will look at it after. Oh my game. god. So small. Oh my goodness. Where did my soot dice go? Lance, are you That's an on my animal. Soot dice? Hi, baby. 
a little creature. I love it when animals. Yeah, I love it when Shout animals. Shout out to animals. They're, they're the real ones. Well, I don't know where I put my suit dice. Um, hmm. I wish I had real Photoshop sometimes, and then I remember I don't give Adobe a lick of my money, and I don't know where the recent um, uh, uh, high seas version of any of it is. Yeah, especially um, with the whole because now you don't get to even own Photoshop, right? You have to pay for yeah. a subscription. Yeah, that's fucked yeah. up. Also, they had like that one thing where it was like if you own Hello! older versions of Photoshop, it's like illegal to have. Uh, fuck Photoshop. <laughs> Ask Hello. Asterisk. Hi, Asterisk. Also, hi, Asterisk. Hi, Asterisk. Um, I was I was caught up on how your character was introduced to the party. Good, good, good for Donella. Yes. Yeah. So, to catch you up, Asterisk. Yes, um, uh, Donella has just been hanging off of Navi's arm this whole conversation, uh, drinking it in, maybe getting distracted. Who's to say? There's a lot of very pretty people at this table. Oh, yes. Uh, and Navi has explained <laughs> yes, gamer mode. Everybody spam gamer mode in the chat while I'm explaining. Um, <laughs> someone, make, someone make it an emoji. Um, uh, yes. Only PK on. I, can I'm do this. Has, I, only I can do this. Um, the point is that uh what am I trying to say? The point is that Navi was explaining the murder that she mentioned last week. Mm -hmm. She uh, said that her good friend, although she calls many people her good friends, uh, Hondras Mudspin, who is a coroner in the capital city of the province, um, uh, was found murdered when she went to visit him to ask him for a favor. Um, he had what might have been a gunshot wound in his head and a rope tied around his neck and uh, she has no idea who would have a grudge against the fucking mortician um, but clearly somebody did um, she does not know who might have done it um, but she is uh, requesting a favor from the party to go figure it out and I think at, at this point in the conversation, as people are sort of talking about making plans to investigate this and to go, it's about a week and a half journey to get to um, the capital city of the province, which is uh, Santerra, from Camlin, where you guys are now. She does turn to you, Danella, and say, you know, dear, you did want to accrue some other favors yourself. This sort of thing you think you might be useful for? Oh, only if they'll have me. Navi raises an eyebrow and looks at the party. <laughs> um, I'm sure we could always get to know each other a little bit. Yes, no. But I think... It wouldn't have, to have, you know, another capable person in the party. I would also not be opposed. Direct eye contact. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, looking Donella up and down. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes. This party's listen, 40 levels have increased by at least listen, 10%. Everyone going to horny jail. <laughs> hey! Hey! Not you guys. Only the dykes are going to horny jail. God. What have we done? Okay. <laughs> Asterisk was here for four minutes before you guys started being horny on main. Listen, and last time I was here, I was horny at Parker. Um, those oh, things God. happen. Uh... Anyway. Which, by the way, Victor has not forgotten. Um... Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I was actually gonna... Um, Ask if you wanted to go uh, worship later. Cough, cough. Uh, after this is done. I, <laughs> I hate all of you. Uh, <laughs> Navi looks at the people... Navi looks at the people who are not obviously thinking about fucking Danella. Uh, in Fern, <laughs> Fern, Aya, and Soot uh, to see if it seems like something. Hmm. Um, Aya just gives a bit of a nod and... 
more hands easier work, I've heard. Um, I feel like Sit would probably, like, I don't know if he necessarily minds, but he's going to turn and quietly mutter to Adder if this is all right. <laughs> like, are you going to come with, or? I hope so. I sit around and wait while you were going off somewhere. What was that? Can you repeat yourself? Oh, I wasn't just going to sit around and- sorry. I wasn't just going to sit around and wait while you were going off somewhere. Well, I- I- I just wanted to ask, all right? All right. Well, <laughs> and I wanted to answer, so, there. <laughs> yeah, so it's just going to give his arm, like, one of those little rubs. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. At her- at her nods. All right. Suppose it can't hurt. <laughs> Any objections? Oh, perfect then. <laughs> she tosses her hair a little bit. Lovely so to have you on board. Glad I could just introduce you all. <laughs> anyway. Uh, if you do intend to go off and investigate this, do keep me up to date as much as you can. I think I rather need to stay in Camlin for a little bit and make sure other people make out of Camlin. Um Is there anything we can do to help with that? Oh no, I don't think there is, unfortunately. But I do so appreciate the author. So he kind of like shrugs a little bit and he's just, he grins a little and he's just stirring up shit's kind of a specialty. <laughs> well, I don't know. Put a dog on the roof in front of her and see if she's entertained by it. Or better yet, send the beast after her heels and see what happens. She'll have to get in line. Matches has a lot of heels to bite. <laughs> well, <laughs> I really shouldn't say all that anyway. Lacrimosa is very good at what she does, and it's an asset. And such lovely company. Well, I'm sure there's lovely direct eye contact. Oh my God. <laughs> Mavi, Mavi, uh, smirks a little <laughs> bit, and... Victor, you flatter me so unnecessarily. <sighs> Not necessarily, but, um, unnecessary, but... But in any case, I need to stay home, clearly, because I can't even leave for a shorter duration than I'd intended without, um... Trouble starting. So. Until such a time as you leave, I am happy to provide any information that I can. And once you leave, you're largely on your own unless you can get word to me somehow, and I will respond as timely as I can. <sighs> right. But if you don't have more questions tonight, then frankly, I'm sick of business. Victor will wait a beat to see if anyone has anything else to say, and then I think I'm in agreement. Pleasure it can be. 
I did promise a round of drinks for everyone. Lovely. Sick kind of Navi up snaps a little her at that. fingers. <laughs> Navi snaps her fingers and glances over her shoulder uh, towards the bartender, who immediately starts pouring around. Like it, attention shifts completely away from the other people they were serving, um, and goes to pour around. And the people they were serving do get a little bit frustrated at first, and then look over and see Navi and seem to understand and mm. uh the rest the the rest of you if you were not already drinking receive a drink mm. and uh um yeah how 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 do i receive this drink like is it just placed in front of me body shot it is handed <laughs> to you and it it is oh oh kitty well, I, I accept it, of course. It is handed to me. It's oh, handed to you. Mm. And uh, what time of day is it? It's about it's like 10 p.m. Okay. okay. Yeah. And what uh, what um, have I been up to, I guess? Uh, you were doing errands and shopping at the very least. Uh, you did okay. have some... Uh, general administrative affairs and things that you need to sort out by letter which did take you an awful long time to like figure out what exactly was needed from you what the fuck paperwork form you needed to fill out like all of, it was just you've been doing tedious um business shit basically but also okay. shopping so you can go shopping with your money at some time we can do it off camera and i can give you shit that you might have had access to. There's a magic shop. There's a potion shop in town that the party stopped at, as well as a trinket shop that you could take a look at. And uh, yeah, so lots of shopping that you would have been up to, probably, and also writing letters. Astros, he's licking your hand. I'm just That's so cute. I'm just watching him. He's so ah, uh, <laughs> baby. Oh, he is such a sweet boy. Beige. <laughs> did you just say beige? So I really couldn't hear me. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes, I did. I did. God. Beige. I, I just love that you can smoosh him. Yeah. Because I do that to my boy, head. too. Brain leech. <laughs> we are unfortunately now getting echoes through, I think, you asked us. Well, I'm not hearing echo. Oh, it very happens. Tiny. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, my mic was muted. Fair. I muted with the button no. here. Huh. Oh. There oh, was probably echo a computer a mic ago. now. Not yeah. a computer mic or something? Yeah, like laptop fine. mic? It's oh. fine. We'll yeah. let you know if it gets distracting yeah. or <laughs> otherwise uh, unbearable. But, um, yes, so it is. 11 p.m. at Sweetwater Tavern, and you all have drinks. Mm. And it's just as rowdy as it always is. Hey, um, okay. this whole very serious conversation, yeah? I, I want to- Soot kinda wants to try and convince somebody to do the, um, the, uh, Northern Star song if he can do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Near effortlessly, you wander off, uh, you pull Adder off to to talk to other people in the bar, um, I presume, just- Yeah, arm in arm, probably. <laughs> yeah, and you, uh, show up, uh, to- You take a look outside where there is maybe music being played, and you're like, okay, that's not the move here. And you- just sort of find some of the guys who you'd been storytelling with earlier, the ones who were very sad that Brad was gone. Mm -hmm. And you mention the song by name, and immediately um, everybody starts cheering and chanting and starts into the song. Um, which... Are you gonna play it, or should I put it in the recording? 
put it in the recording. Fuck it. Yeah, I was going to grab a YouTube link to send to people if they wanted to listen. Um, uh, I would is... like a YouTube link, please, because I do not usually have the Spoon mental to spoons to recording. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. I will send you Northern Star. I'll, I'll up the um, audio a bit, but we'll start later. <laughs> It's a good song, guys. <laughs> it's a good song, and in in this this universe is canonically a uh, drinking song um, that is in part inspired by the god of ale, uh, Caden Kalian. Nice. And it is a common song to hear sung at his holy sites. And when I say holy sites, his... what I mean is bars. Yeah. yeah. Wait, are all bars uh, technically temples to Caden Kalian? Some not 100% of them, but many of them are. And the excitement with which people start in on singing this song uh, and and sort of, it's almost a unanimous wave of people. Every regular in this place, including the bartender, is joining in and singing on the chorus. This is definitely a Cade Night bar. The more you looking around and thinking about it, one hundred percent, this is the kind of place that and Caden Kalian uh, has bestowed blessings on. I will say too, um, Sud is absolutely pulling Adder into this dance. Um. <laughs> Yeah. The one they've done a million They're... times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he easily follows into the dance with you. Other people dance as well. Uh, the band outside has given up, and it is a courtyard full of people singing. <laughs> yeah. And this is the, the tavern that uh, had the dog on the roof, right? Yeah. This yes. is the dog on the roof tavern, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love um, that that's Anakin become the legacy now. On the roof. <laughs> I, I, I will join in dance, not so much performing, but sort of flitting between partners as if this is a real. Mm. She is. Yeah. After doing the perfunctory scan to make sure that the person that she will not dance for anymore isn't there. Yeah. But I know there's no chance he is. Oh. He is not there, and you can happily dance along. And the energy in the bar is good. Yes. Victor is trying to keep... Oh, no. Uh, sorry. Uh, Navi and Donella's attention very much still at that table that they're sat at. Light, mm -hmm. light chatting conversation. Little flirty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just uh, is this a little floaty by normal standards or a little floaty by Calistria worshipper standards? Calistria worshipper. Calistrian standards. <laughs> God bless. <laughs> Literally. If Stalin wants to join in, ha Victor is happy to have half them, but I'm not making a decision for, for Skylar. Yeah, no, no. Um, I think because uh, Skylar will, um, you know, uh, I don't know, we'll say so. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of introducing him, of ourselves to each other. I am Skylark, gentleman detective. Um, and you are? Danela, and she reaches her arm out for a shake. Yeah, uh, take your hand and, um, uh, charmed. Sure, your pleasure's all mine. So, where does your skills lie, Miss Donella? Well, let me bring it. <laughs> I have to review my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone else backstory stuff. Navi does cut in a little bit to say, you might want to specify what specific skill set um, you're asking after. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever skill set she wants to divulge, of course. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> I must say, I'm interested in any answers. Well, <laughs> well, you did get a little preview. Oh, I did you now? 
very satisfactory <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, I'm so flattered. This is oh. the energy at the table. Yeah, just, you know, like that for the last next hour or two. <laughs> yeah. Just shamelessly flirting back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is part of the reason why you sit, pulled Adder away to go dance. <laughs> At one point, <laughs> Leave Vanilla them alone. does turn to whoever's next to her and go, Oh, they are adorable. Oh, yes, no, they... They say they are... He says he's not interested in him, but he's a very oh, bad liar. Wait, wait Sky, I, Jamie, I forgot. Oh, the yes, men have the skin. Of the the men have boyfriends now. Oh, okay. Oh, they I are, mean, they uh, have okay. boyfriends, okay. and I'm trying to play it off like they've been boyfriends the whole time. Yeah, like, okay. nobody's necessarily been like, are you guys together? Like, I don't think anybody currently has asked, but, like, they aren't trying to hide it, really. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, they, they, they were married and living together, but neither of them realized they were married and living together. <laughs> and they finally <laughs> confessed their shit and yeah. sorted their shit out somewhat. Okay. Then she would say, "Yes, no, they're rather." Hmm. It's like if you know, you had, you were in love, but also were also not very good at being in love and. Also didn't know you were in love, I guess. That's their vibe. They're so incredibly <laughs> frustrating to be on the road with them for a couple of weeks now, but... Oh, I think it sounds sweet. Hmm. It, you won't it, change it, your mind you. in about day seven. <laughs> Adder pauses where he's dancing with you, so it's like, <laughs> hold on just a fucking second. And, uh... <laughs> steps away from you and goes over to the table with the horny bastards and leans, leans in um, to the dykes specifically and says, I don't recall asking your input. Eh, well, or... I didn't get it anyway. Yes, no, this is completely free. Free of charge. <laughs> you know, I think I think I might prefer if you kept your opinions solidly to yourselves. Well, we all want things in this world. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no. You know, people can want things all the time. Does not mean it'll happen. Does Sud see Adder getting a little like irritated with them? Uh, you yeah, you definitely see your boyfriend just like stepped away from you while like mid dance and went to go uh talk uh not <laughs> aggressively dike. but insistently at the dikes. <laughs> so it's just gonna sigh. Tip his head forward and follow after him, and like hand on the back, and lean over to the table and just be like, "Excuse me," and he's going to try and maneuver Adder away from them, <laughs> just with a uh, mutter of like strength check. Oh god, that'll be great. Oh, I actually rolled really high. Hold on, what's my strength? Yeah, I don't. Oh no, I don't have a plus anything, so that's just a 17. <laughs> 17 still is fine. He resists a little bit, but fine. And and follows you back to where people are dancing. Um, he is crucially slightly drunker than uh, others, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's cute. Little, <laughs> I give a little a little wave and like a cat knife grin to him, but he can't see it, so. <laughs> Cannot see it. God bless. This is, so, yeah. this is for my benefit. <laughs> so it's just gonna like shake his head to you guys, and like he's gonna pull Adder back into a dance again. Except it's like the slower type, and he's gonna kind of like. <sighs> well, what was that about? They were saying some frankly slanderous things, and I thought to put them right. <laughs> sure, sure. I think, Scott, Scott, listen. I'm all ears. I think we're very good at being in love. I think I... we're very good at it. Soot goes a little bit, like, he he kind of stops a little bit, and he just kind of, like, he'll lean his head forward and put it on his chest. You know, I think so, too. I think we were just... 
I think we're very good at this, and I think it's bullshit that they're saying that we're not when they haven't seen the whole, uh, the, the whole, uh, the, the, they just don't know shit and they're annoying. Yeah, no, <laughs> I agree with you. Actually, not, okay, now that actually makes me, they said that we weren't good at being in love. Hello? <laughs> the Skylar was like, oh yeah, they're bad at being in love, but really in love and whatever, and trying to explain what her whole deal was to the new person in Ireland and just fucking... I just think it was fucking bullshit, so I just didn't ask them for their fucking opinion. Uh, yeah, no, the the idea that bad of being in love is, is like, you know, not good for each other. I am fantastic at being in love. I am so- I've been doing it fucking nearly every day of my fucking life and I'm really good at it. <laughs> Aww. Aww. The, so, this he he's very he's clearly <laughs> drunk. Uh, he does continue on his tirade for a couple more minutes before he's yeah. distracted fully so, by the So Sid is going to just give him a little peck on the cheek and just say, "You know, it's the same for me." <laughs> see, we're good. We're good at it. We're so good at it. I'd like to see they, them try. They might know a lot of things that we don't, but that's the one thing they'll never know. They're just, they're just, they're just fucking blue. Like they, are. <laughs> they are quite blue. Guys, has he even seen us? Oh, oh so he the reason he has is because... Him... So, Soot has a spell called, called Mind Link. Link. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I was able so... to show him colors and shit. That was how he confessed, basically, was to be like, I'll show you uh -huh. shit. Um, and then he uh, showed him basically that he was in love with him for his entire life. Uh, <laughs> since they were kids. But he also showed him the party and like appearances to go with the voices. So if Ada doesn't really know much about you, but by God, he knows you're blue. Yeah. Um, also, blue is at, like one of Adder's favorite colors. So, so it was like, I gotta show this man what blue is. <laughs> Yeah, he, he does love blue, is the thing, and now he knows what it looks like, god bless. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it is, that is, that is what the boys are doing. Um, I have to take a pause, but Fern. Yes. Fern, you were given alcohol. Yes, I was. <laughs> you were handed oh. alcohol. I am handed alcohol. I've been put into such a social situation, haven't I? You oh. really have. Would it would it be unfriendly to not drink the drink? It would be, is the thing. It would be very unfriendly. Um, oh dear. Facts about your elf. No tolerance. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, fur, fur, and fur does, you know. Uh, when when afforded the option, does not drink. Yep. So. Wow. Um. So. You do. You do. Uh, end up. Do you stay at the table with the the dykes and others being? Do no. you stay at the horny tail table? Okay. No. <laughs> God bless. I'm I'm fucking leaving as soon as possible. As soon as I can tell, as soon as I can tell it's starting to get horny, I leave. <laughs> God bless. And which is so instantly. Um. Instantly, you leave immediately. <laughs> God. Um, you leave with soot and adder. <laughs> yeah. And and if you are, if you would like to join in on the singing and the dancing, you, you've been around a while. You've heard this song before. Um. But if not, there is uh, there's plenty of friendly conversation to be had. Um, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I love I love friend. I'm, see, here's the thing. I'm sure someone, if I even if I would love to join the singing, someone is going to want to talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, and and you know what? You know what? For the for the for the humor of it all, um, you were approached by uh, the young lady that you uh... Giselle the, that you met last time you were at Sweetwater, Giselle. Yes. 
um, who Aww. loves music but hates the music that they play here. Um, she's about as drunk as you are, which you guess means that she's had about six times as much to drink as you have. <laughs> <laughs> and and she's fern. Oh my gosh, fern. Hello, Giselle. Hello. Oh, it's good to see you. I was worried I was not going to come back here and see you. And I'm so glad that I have. Oh, that would have been terrible. Terrible. No, right? I'm so glad to see you. You have to meet my other friends. Yes. Um, she is taking you by the hand and pulling you to a corner, which I can only describe as it looks like a drink girl in the bathroom squad. Um, oh, yeah. Yes! If you know. And, and she's pulling you over and, uh, she says, guys, this is Fern. She's got great opinions about music and she's so fun to talk to. She's my friend. And she introduces you to her uh, her three gal pals um, who are as drunk as she are she is and are one of them is sitting crisscross applesauce on the floor um, halfway under one of the tables that is sort of tilted on its side. Um, one of them is leaning up against the wall and one of them sitting on a bar stool. And it seems like they are poking at uh, what might be an instrument that they might have stolen from the band. Not oh. sure. Unclear. Excellent. Um, it, it's, it's something, but they would love to tell you about them. Um, and all the, the this band doesn't know how to play music. The guy who got up on stage, he can sing, though. He can, not the one for the band, the one who got up on stage. He can really sing. I wish he had better people. Uh, on stage with him. But the band is still there. Hey, well, you've got... Is that one of their instruments, or did you did you bring that from... Oh, that's one of their instruments. That's... I didn't want them to play it anymore. And you play it? Better than them. <laughs> This person probably cannot play this instrument whatsoever. Um, but <laughs> even better, um, even better. Um, they do also offer you um, bar bar snacks. They have potato skins. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah, potato uh, skins. As far as you know, this place does not serve potato skins, so you're not sure where they came from. But by God, are they oh. offering you potatoes? And they've got a lot of potato skins. We brought them from home. Eh. They kept him in the purse. <laughs> uh, just like the breadsticks. Yep. Yeah. One of them offers you a breadstick if you want. Yeah. Oh my god. It's like, you know how movie theaters sure. are overcharged for um, snacks, so you have to sneak yours in? Yeah. It's like that. Like people that stuff a whole yeah. pizza in their purse. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've heard, I've seen energy. people do it before. I had a friend who did once, then sneak in the movie theater. <laughs> With a pizza? Yeah. <laughs> That's some me like energy a whole one, right there. Yeah, yeah, a whole one, basically. It fuck? wasn't like a, full, a full circle or anything, but it was like, you know, a couple slices and stuff. Um, what I'm pretty the hell? I'm pretty sure my brother <sighs> had, like, the last time I went to the movies with my brother, we, like, stopped at the gas station and, like, brought whole cans of, like, pop with and, like, uh, snacks and shit. Oh, 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 so <laughs> sir, hold up a second. Y'all have to sneak food into the theater? Yeah, they don't want you to take yeah, stuff yeah. from outside, outside in there. food in, yeah. Yeah. The, capitalism is fucking wild to me. You can, you can take outside food into your movie theater? Yes! Uh, it is common courtesy, though, to not take hot food so that it doesn't- uh, so that, like, the smell of it doesn't disturb uh, other people. Gotcha. But, yeah. yeah it it is they... common practice to just go to the nearest supermarket and buy, like, sodas and popcorn and chips and just bring them in on, in the fucking supermarket bag. You don't even have to conceal Dude. that you've got a supermarket bag, a market bag full of snacks. Do, you, Dude, do they sell they, popcorn they look... there? Yes, they they sell like popcorn and um 
the various chocolate things and but you don't have to buy it yeah no they yeah, want no, you to they... buy things at the movie theater because yeah. they're overpriced yeah, and they want to make because... money well not only that <laughs> um dude the here's the thing, thing. If you let Americans bring food in, someone would, like, set up a grill. Yeah. Uh, so and, true. Uh, we cannot also, be trusted uh, sometimes. Also, like, uh, the where most movie theaters here make most of their money via snacks, because the actual tickets don't give them much money mm -hmm. when they have to split. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah so. I, I think that technically it is we would highly prefer that you buy from the concession stand. But I think they actually tried to crack down on people bringing outside snacks in mm. and got so much backlash that they went, okay, fine, you can have your fucking snacks. Yeah, here they, like, check your purses and shit sometimes. Like, we have to, like, go at certain times where they don't have people to check your bags. Um, <laughs> at least where I live, it's, like... It's like you're going through TSA, they're like, alright, check your bag, they look inside for like two seconds, and then they send you through, like, yeah. <laughs> I once had to sneak an entire, like, three-person Taco Bell order, including drinks, into my tiny God. backpack. God. And I did it. God, I love that. <laughs> including drinks. I, That's I amazing. I Taco Bell order, but how do you sneak the drinks in? Holy fuck. They take it, up so it, much volume. It was so precarious. <laughs> Very carefully. Anyway, um, <laughs> Fern has yeah, made yeah. some drunk girl in the bathroom friends. Yeah, they can, They will not stop telling you that you're so pretty and they bet that you're really good at singing. And some of them are, are singing along to the songs. It's not just Northern Star. People shift into other songs. But it's very much like, these are all Cadenite tunes. It's a Cadenite hoedown. Uh, fuck the band. We're, we're, <laughs> we're, shout out we to the lucky the drunk tonight. Yeah, I, oh. I love Soot just kind of being in here and being like, no, 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 we're doing this right now, and everybody going like, yeah! <laughs> um, any Shh. any of the, like, particularly Caden, Caden Kalian songs, Fern won't sing along with, but if they're, like, more general use songs, Fern will participate. Yeah, and most of them are. There's really only one that's, like, like, sort of a rowdy like ballad about like the tale of the man ascending or the the plot of the song is that it's a man telling a man about what he heard about what Caden Kalian did to ascend to godhood but it's like a game of telephone so the first verse is the first guy telling the next guy and then it's the next guy telling <laughs> yes. the next and it just gets more absurd and ridiculous and stupid the oh. farther it goes on into the song I love um, that so much and that's the only one that's like actually that's a Cade Knight song. Uh, everything else is this is a drinking song that Cade Knights really love, and there's sometimes references to Caden Kalian. Nice. This is why uh, Sid can handle this sort of stuff. Him. This is this is the only thing that he can get close to that doesn't make him feel ill. So <laughs> Yeah. It, it's they're just vibing because it's like it's not even these people are not trying to pray they're having they're trying yeah. to have a good time this is the fun time yeah. not the uh we're praying to our god that that's mostly like you're nodding to him when you're praying and that's about it <laughs> they're, they're just trying to pop the fuck off uh, drink a bevy and sing the raddest song on the fucking planet yeah yeah um but yeah so that's 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 the fern update. A drunk girl in a bathroom, gang. I love them so Is, much. Uh, oh, do the drunk girls offer fern more drinks? Uh, they 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 ask if she wants to drink. Um, but oh, they don't. They're not like handing a drink. They're they're like they're like. Some of them are talking about getting more drinks, and they ask, "Do you want one?" Uh, fern will say no. All right, then they will not give you more drinks. Yay! Good. We, we love a courteous group. Quick. Um, and yeah, so that's the Fern update. Uh, the, the drunk bathroom girls do at some point, Aya, uh, decide to move as a pack, dragging Fern along to come up to tell you that your dancing is... <laughs> 
so pretty and you're so so pretty hi hello hello fun are you are you guys are you guys having fun dancing yeah a lot I've, of it and she's her not quite like that i've got some great new friends and oh. I listen, oh. listen, listen. I've got an idea. I, I listen. I haven't told him yet. I think we should start a band. <laughs> what do you think? I cocks her head, thinks about it, and nods very emphatically. Crucially, she has not drunk very much, but she's getting swept up in the vibes. She, nice. she she responds to alcohol the way I respond to alcohol, which is mirroring the energy around, which, considering this particular tavern, is fucking unhinged. Uh. That's not in a bad way, that's a... Do yeah, you, no, I know. Do you, do you tell your drunk girl posse that you are, uh... that you want to start a band? Yes. <laughs> they are unimaginably excited about this. Um, and yeah, they they 110% they want to start a band. Let's start a band. Let, let, let's fucking go. Let's go. Fern has let's been caught Fern, Fern is caught up in the thrill of a, so, of a social situation. <laughs> yes. I, your social situation does does involve them. Uh, uh, Giselle does say to Aya, "You went on the roof. You got the dog on the roof." <laughs> yes. Yes, I uh, did. Could you help us get up on the stage? <gasps> <laughs> she she gives a thumbs up. Yes. You want yeah. to shenanigans? Aya shenanigans. Um, I, I, I fucking love sweet yeah. water. <laughs> you guys are making making. Uh, you guys are uh, holding a siege on the stage. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. We need dog. Hold on. There needs to be more dog. <laughs> can I? Yeah. Can I summon my boy? I won't even make you roll if your boy wants to show up. Boy knows that it's time to do some shenanigans. Shenanigan um, time. Yeah. <laughs> Mechie boy! Um, um, dog on the stage. <laughs> dog on the stage! Dog on the stage! What um, happened? He's come to announce fucking... the new- the new band. <laughs> the thing is, what happens is that, like, Aya's helping the- Aya and Fern are helping the drunk girls get onto the stage. So it's like, mm, dog on the stage. And there's like just a weird silence that falls over the courtyard for a minute because everybody's looking at the dog. <laughs> so it's just and gonna then, like look at matches and just nod, like do what you gotta do, buddy. <laughs> and oh, and matches matches is is tippy tapping on the stage, and Giselle says so quietly, but everybody can hear it. Dog on the stage, <laughs> and then like just a cheer throughout the whole courtyard and everybody dog on the stage um and yeah you guys don't know if you're actually starting a band or not but by god there's a dog on the stage and you're on the stage oh no i stole the glory okay. no fern, fern, no here's the thing fern is so entranced by dog on the stage they've almost completely forgotten the band idea um <laughs> I, I so yes. have the drunk girls but they are, you know what? They are chanting something almost song-like about the dog on the stage. So hey, maybe it is a band after all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sit so has just like is, is tippy tapping. Hell yeah! So it's just kind of like melted into Adder's side at this point, because they're both kind of drunk, like a lot. Well, maybe not a whole bunch, but like you know, they're both tipsy and having a good time. <laughs> yeah. He's just happy. Uh, uh, Aya, you notice uh, matches. Maybe it's just because he's he remembers the previous dog on the roof experience, but he's like 
he's so excited to tippy tap next to you. It's like, it's like, <laughs> it's almost like, it's not quite, you don't think Matches has enough brain cells to understand like bird on the roof, dog on the roof, solidarity, but it kind of feels like bird on the stage, dog on the stage, solidarity in some capacity. <laughs> Incredible. All he knows is that it makes the pleasure centers of his brain light up. He's my All good he knows boy. is like he's tippy tapping, boys. Yeah. yeah. I love him. Um, <laughs> also, I don't know if you know, um, Asterisk, um, Matches is a Borzoi, a black Borzoi. Oh my god! Yeah, he's just a noodle boy, uh, with gold horse eyes. Hog. Yeah. <laughs> he's weird he's horse a long, dog. He's a long, weird horse dog, and he likes the following things. Number one, tippy taps. Number two, uh, like licking ears. ears. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, pocket bacon. Yeah. Uh, number three, pocket bacon. For the love of God, can we get this boy some pocket bacon? Uh, one of the drunk girls gives him a potato skin, and he's pretty into that, too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you must a chart of dog, I have a chart of the dog types right here, and he is a personification of fear. <laughs> Great. I love that for him, actually. <laughs> Ideal. He's also an omen. Um, <laughs> Black dog. But, so while this shit's going on, um, occasionally, uh, Navi will glance over outside and just see what's going on with the rest of the party. But mostly she's engaged in the flirtatious conversation between Danela and the Dykes and, and herself. <laughs> Get it, girls. <laughs> You know what? I'll shoot my shot. Um, I'm going to give Victor a look, and then I'm going to look at the, the two women across from us and say, So, are you too familiar at all with the way that um, worshippers of Callistria, you know, show their devotion? I can't say I'm familiar. It looks at Victor and gives a grin. Oh, oh sorry, go ahead. Uh, Navi raises an eyebrow at that in in the sort of sense that like oh she's heard this line before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Victor uh, gives a smile, then looks back as if to say, "Are you down for this?" And then we'll. D does Victor seem down for this or? Parker, you're muted. Of course. Oh, Victor just gives you a smile back. Yeah. Yeah, just. Well, if you'll, you know, if you have the evening free, perhaps we can share, we're both pretty devout ourselves, perhaps we can give you guys a lesson in our ways of worship. I have to say, I'm intrigued. And you, Miss Navi? You're sort of really all the same, aren't you? Not the first time I've heard that. Well, well we do all have one connecting uh, similarity. I suppose I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can have a force, I'm sure. Yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> I'm like, sure, I'll shoot like oh shot. Good for you guys. <laughs> First time being the party, immediately fucks. Yeah, yeah. Um, I go for the super horny. Um, that that can happen, I guess. Um, oh, look at him. Oh you need God. to understand just how chaste the r romance between my character and PK's character is. It's such a contrast. Oh, yeah. yeah, fucking uh, yeah. rye bread. Oh my God. Rye oh, Red and yeah. Selkie are yeah. so- they have not so much as kissed, god bless. They help him! Uh, the thing is, they're, from what I've heard of from both of them, they're both very good and very adorable and just, oh. Uh, so look yeah, at this little um, cat. Oh my god. Oh, he's so married? Cute. Uh, however, I do think they both deserve a chance to be somewhat fucked up and evil. They do. Uh, <laughs> I mean, and you know, maybe- Maybe uh, Rye Bread has something that will aid with me being fucked up and evil. You can't Maybe say these words out loud, Jamie. Um, it's it's a spoiler. Um, yeah. <sighs> I was just talking about some really fucked up bread. 
Yeah, the really... <laughs> but no, that's what I'm saying. You can't tell Astros about the really fucked up bread. That's a secret. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I had a brownie, and I'm I'm, I'm sore, and I'm flying. Yeah, Hell yeah. Yes. There's not um, a star in heaven I can't reach right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I, good for you. I oh, deal. my God. Soaring, flying. No regret for any of that in your head. Yeah, so it's up to you guys. The choice is you could go have a foursome in one of the Sweetwater rooms, or you could go back to the Mellow U and and um, have a foursome there, or you could go to... Uh, well, Danella just got here, so she probably doesn't have accommodations. Um, yeah, we could go back to the name other end whose name I forget. The, okay. me the mellow yellow, yeah. The mellow yellow, the mellow that's right. Yellow. The mellow, mellow you. It's actually the mellow you, but I'm dumb yeah. and I always, I always mispronounce it, so I say mellow yellow because it's easier. And like on the that. side, there's we like all a know. can. The locals call it the mellow yellow. That's because <laughs> it's yellow on the outside. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it is now. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so that's uh, you guys can go do that. Have fun. Um, yeah, that is occurring. And and you do have fun. Good. Nice. Uh, Danela, you feel like you you understand what the Calistria worshiper thing is all about now? Oh yeah. And yeah, that that sure takes place. <laughs> Good for you guys. <laughs> This is why we're in Horning Jail. We have I to get them in Horny Jail and put them this, in it. <sighs> this also happened first time I sent you guys to Sweetwater. Both the dice were like, you know what we need to do right now? Fuck. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I yeah. specifically <laughs> ill advised hookups. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. I woke up with both my kidneys, so. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, I, I did wake up with my kidneys, one? right? Oh, look at Has oh, Skylar ever woken up missing one? I don't think so, because elves, elves, it's not like a lizard thing, right? You just regrow them, right? Yeah, not you don't, you don't, <laughs> oh you my God. don't know if you would regrow your kidneys or not, but you think probably not. Um, yeah, and probably. as far as you know, you've got both of them, but what? you actually, you've never checked when you woke up, so I guess you don't really know. Yeah, I mean, I assume I, I, I checked since then, right? Unless there's some weird magic thing where they can reach inside me without breaking the skin. Uh, anyway, there's yeah. yeah. Anyway, the <laughs> anyway, oh, baby man. Oh. Um. Yeah. No, I supposedly that... have all my organs. Yeah. So everybody's having a fun. Well, the Dykes, Danella, and Navi are having a fun, lovely time back at the Mellow U. Um. Oh. Fucking. Everybody else is at Sweetwater, uh, alternating being uh, trashed and being a uh, dog on the stage. The drunk girls have just completely assimilated Fern and Aya into their number. And <laughs> Soot and Adder can... Uh, oh, you messaged me. Yeah. Uh, Soot and Adder, uh, you know, leave matches to do what he's going to do and eventually head, head back to the inn themselves. Yeah, um, rest off the drinks. Evening. Um, enjoy each other's company. Yeah. That sort of thing, <laughs> as you do. Um, but yeah, Fern and Aya, it is up to you how long you stay uh, with with Drunk Girl Squad. Um, <gasps> the thing is that Aya will have to be the one to initiate to leave because if she doesn't, we won't leave until. They pass out because Fern cannot extra extract from a social situation without. God bless. It's true. Yeah, Aya period. will probably have to decide. <laughs> if it helps, I think. I was gonna mm -hmm. say if it helps. I bet you matches probably would have went after the boys after a while. <laughs> Yeah, eventually Dog on stage would have left. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Which I, I, I think I might say on that that might be our cue to also try and get some sleep. Oh. It's 
fun here. Are you guys gonna come back? We should hang out again. Better. We better yeah. come back. We yeah, you come should. Back there, right. What was that? Fun? What was that fun? We're gonna come back, Aya. Right? She nods. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I also want to be absolutely clear. I am imagining that as this is settled, she has just no. It, it, it is time for me to do braids in someone's hair. Good. It might be fun. Um, Who knows? Fern, you've got some rad braids in your hair now. Nice. Um. So yes, we are going to come back. Um, the drunk girl squad is thrilled by this. It was so <laughs> nice to meet you. They're so they glad. They do the drunk girl uh, cheer. They do the drunk girl cheer. Um. One of them is, like, the one who had originally started, like, sort of under the table is definitely asleep on the floor by this point. Um, <laughs> but, but the other three are straight vibing, chilling still, and, and they they tell you to walk home safe. I'm, I'm pointing at the girl on the floor, and I'm like, that's me. <laughs> that's just yeah, real life oh. Ren right there. <laughs> it's just Ren. Her name is Ren. Oh. <laughs> hey, I'm in Pathfinder, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ren, Ren, Ren in Pathfinder. Pathfinder. <laughs> Ren in Pathfinder. What crimes will they commit? All of them. All, All of them. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> Same brain cell. I'm glad we're in agreement that I'm, I'm the drunk girl under the table. <laughs> yes. Who commits many a crime? Well, listen, oh. I, I think that you deserve some arson and some burglary and. Yeah, I think I do too. I I need to have my my unhinged uh, arc. I don't know when it's gonna be, but by God, it's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna lose your hat, and that'll fucking just send you off the edge. <laughs> mm. um, so so moderately soon after matches leaves, I think Aya will. I think that is our cue to leave, and yes, we will return. Um. You you guys can easily um, easily make your way home to the Mellow U, and uh, you and Fern were roommates anyway, so you guys just don't have to worry about that. Astris? And they were roommates. Astris? Yeah, oh. Astris is back. Cat content! Kitty. Cat! Oh, he's so Hello. cute. Oh, he's so cute. Mary! Little boy. Aww. But yes, PK, sorry. The little man. Oh, no! no. no. <laughs> why does it keep Astrid? doing that? <laughs> I have no idea why it's doing that. Hmm. No rights for you. Um, yeah, so... Fern and I don't have to worry about disturbing or waking anybody up when they come home because they are roommates. Um, Adder and Sit, likewise, are also roommates, and they were roommates. And um, as far as the dykes, you guys can pick where everybody wakes up in the morning. Um, and if it's all in one room or separate. I don't know. Um, make that call your own selves. Yeah. <laughs> Victor is not the type to stick around. So Okay. Okay, that's fair. Um, yeah. Um, oh, little if, if at some point... If Victor was the first one to head out, uh, Navi would have also headed out at some point um and uh Danila and Skylar I mean Danila you definitely don't have a room to stay in because you know yeah, I don't yeah. right I think, now I think, <laughs> I think Skylar intended this to be like a, okay you leave afterwards but then she found out that you don't have a room they're like oh crap okay yeah you can stay here um 
<laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, you don't ha haven't got a room we should have taken care of that earlier. Yeah, no, you can stay here. Um, oh, don't mind all the chemicals. <laughs> um, I'm very confused and very concerned. You'll see that. Uh, wow. yeah, um, there is a little lab set up on the side that they have been using. <laughs> to make their fucked up of evil and energy drinks. Uh, she is delighted. She is also an alchemist. Yo! Oh! Not like, oh, as no. like that, but I mean, yeah, like, yeah. I have yeah, yeah. really high alchemy. Okay, then afterwards, we are just laying there and talking about alchemy for a while, then. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my yeah, god! Is the so two horny chemists! Yeah, <laughs> two horny chemists and a, a, a oh, mine are more like cure wounds potions and stuff like that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, I can't mm. stop looking at him. Yeah. He so looks so soft. He Victor is, is so literally soft. having a cigarette in her in room. <laughs> Oh yeah. Fucking. Oh, smoking oh, indoors. I completely <laughs> forgot that Victor was like, "Oh yeah, it's a smoking partner." And then Skylar pulls up the bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! So yes, Astros, we are unhinged. Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, man. Sorry. Okay. Yes. If he's too yeah. distracting, I can turn it off. No, it's okay. I just cat. But yeah. So um, the morning happens. The morning happens. The morning happens. I don't think anybody I, actually drank enough to get hungover. Yeah, I think I had just the oh, one maybe drink. Adder probably did. I'm gonna oh, roll for Adder. The buddy, no. <laughs> do, do I like? I I guess. Do I, do I have any friend friendly friend incidents? Friendly friend incidents. Do I have any? Do I have any incidents where I'm someone's friend too much? Uh, this evening? Yeah. And or I mean, too strong. You're not- the thing about- because you mostly- you made- you sort of became assimilated by the pack of drunk girls, and it is impossible for you to tell if they were latched on because of the way they are or the way you were, but you're pretty sure any extra energy was just sort of being in a feedback loop with them. Um, All right. Thank God. So, yeah, you were definitely very, very friendly with them, but they were also very friendly with you. Um, I, I you did witness this a little bit, and was just like, "Damn, we are all friends here, huh?" Um, but you're you have enough awareness of the fern situation that you're like, "Ah, okay." You, wait, you, wait, you wait. Which is why she had to be the one who was like, "Okay, we we should go home." Yeah, because. Yeah. Uh, had she Don't not, you way. guys would have, like, hit Dawn still there. Uh, they never would have- they would have been trapped there for forever. It's like Hotel California. <laughs> Just like yeah. Hotel California. Friendly purgatory. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. <laughs> so, in the morning, nobody's hungover, God bless. Um, God bless. Ooh. Sit does uh, make him drink Danela, some water just in case. <laughs> uh, Danela and Skylar, uh, you wake up like you had been like mid conversation about um, you know different catalysts that are uh, yeah that about useful, alchemy yeah. shit when you fell asleep <laughs> and then you wake up and you know you could continue that conversation. You're pretty sure there's breakfast downstairs. Yeah, I know. Breakfast time. I'm down to continue this conversation while we go fetch breakfast. Yes, okay, that's fair. As long as, you know, um, I don't bore the rest of them, I figure. Um, also, also, do you want to try this? And she'll offer you one of her energy drinks. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! It's a bit of a pick-me-up in the morning. She does not know how to respond to that. <laughs> it's, 
<laughs> you know, I felt coffee was not enough, so... <laughs> I don't want to try it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she'll offer you one of her energy drinks and she'll take one for... I forgot, is there a role associated with this, DM? Or... I'm trying to figure out... I'm trying to find if I gave specific mechanics for the energy drinks or if I... No, no, no clickety clack math uh, rock for your uh, mouth. I, I, I think <laughs> that this is perhaps like uh, as distilled an espresso you can get mixed with as much five hour energy as Skyla can yeah. physically add. Oh my god. So, oh, this is like so 10 hour for, energy. For the next uh, 10 hours, you ignore the effects of the fatigued condition. Um, but you can also get addicted to it, so. Oh, oof. Yeah, yeah, uh, this is why she doesn't drink them. I think one time she went on a bender and then realized, oh, this is getting, I need this, then slowly wind herself off and only drinks it sparingly now. Yeah, um, it's not, yeah. A, it's not a crazy addictive substance, but it's, you know, you can give yourself yeah. a caffeine addiction in Pathfinder if you don't have one in real life already. You can, you can, <laughs> it's free, it's free, it's free role play. Um, it's free addiction. It's, it's free addiction. Um, you're never going to guess, by the way, who made the, who made the caffeine plus Adderall mistake again today. Oh, oh no! no! Are you okay? Oh, no. I, I'm good now, but like, good God, um... Sam made fun of me because I was being unhinged for like four hours. Um, oh, buddy. And and then I had to play Sudoku for like a solid three hours to like function as a person again. But that was this morning problem. And uh, yeah, so you can try the you can try the the uh, fucked up evil energy drinks if you'd like. Um, Is this explained to her? Um, I think. Uh, I think, uh... Like, I at least that it's an energy say, drink? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's an energy drink. Um, so, you know, just don't drink them too often, or else you will develop a de dependency. I made that mistake more than uh, once upon a time in college. So, yeah. <laughs> you went to college? Yeah, she had to go to school. She's a detective. Like, you know, you don't just, like... You know, do that at home, like, uh, go on to, like, yeah, you don't go on to YouTube and learn how to be a detective. <laughs> as badly as I want to say yes, she's gonna have to say no, because this bitch okay. I wrote on her sheet has ADHD. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Poffy makes me pass the fuck out. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, fair enough. And she'll slam one down. Oh, you can't see it. There it is, ADHD. Okay. <laughs> God. Nice. Um, yeah. <gasps> the party can, I will say, reunite over breakfast. Uh, Navi is not there. Navi dipped. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I'm sure she's got things to attend to that don't involve us. <laughs> she sure does. <sighs> yes, yeah, so does just oh. making sure Adder's got all his shit, like, taken care of because he doesn't often drink <laughs> adder adder is hydrated and 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 hydrated he's fine he was just a little groggy in the morning and grumpy about it yeah so it's doing that thing where it's like ah uh, take care of the grumpy person <laughs> yeah yeah breakfast time you guys receive breakfast. Pocketing some of the bacon, if there is any, for matches later. Because he was a good yep. boy. Pocket <laughs> bacon acquired. Yeah, uh, Victor's Skyler doesn't need a lot of- Sorry, go ahead. I said Victor's probably listening into the alchemy conversation. She doesn't fully get it. She has a small chemical background, but like she understands basic chemistry, but is more just kind of like, hmm, absorbing information. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, Skylar uh -huh. doesn't eat a lot of meat, so she'd probably have like one strip of bacon and give you the rest for uh, Matchbox. Matches? Matchbox? Ma Ma Matchbox is yeah, Matchbox card, is the full name, Matches is is what we usually call him, or at least uh, Soot okay. does. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, uh, having alchemy talk, then, uh, uh, you know, towards the end, uh, they'll say, so, when are we planning on leaving, um, for Santeris? Santeris, right? Uh, it is Santerra. Santerra. So, when are we planning on leaving for Santerra? Um, post-haste, or and are we waiting an another day? Well, um, I don't mind all? leaving whenever. Didn't really have much here. We've been here for a couple days. A week now, I suppose. And uh, she would turn to um, uh, Adder and say, were you able, at all able to you know, take care of um, the things that you were unable to attend to before um, you, know, you had departed? I have I'm honest, I haven't the slightest clue what you're talking about, but I'm... Oh, you, I'm... Know, you had friends or roommates or something that were missing you? You know, they weren't really missing me all that much. I don't think I need to oh, have okay. conversations with them, so it's oh, good. Fantastic. Right. Oh, so if there's nothing keeping us here, I think we should maybe head out soon. Um... There is a murder to solve after all, and the longer we wait, the harder it will be to solve. I wouldn't mind just getting our stuff and uh, leaving today, matter of fact. That's fun. Hi, it gives a little head bob agreement. A week and a half to get there? Mm hmm. All right. Yes. Um. We should maybe possibly pick up some, some basic food stuff so that we, you know, we're not just eating rations along the way. And we're gonna have as long time to eat just beef jerky and hard tack. I know it may not seem it. I know it may not seem it, but I'm actually a pretty decent chef. I think I gave her proficiency in cooking. She has like a plus nine, I think. A little profession chef moment. We love to see it. <laughs> nice, nice. Spend um, some coin on some decent rations or something. Yeah, get get some veg that'll keep and you guys can get good good road stockpiles all easily easily done. People can chuck a couple couple gold of that and and feel very well stocked for the uh. For the week and a half journey, you can probably get it done in eight or nine days if you're pushing the horses. Um, but otherwise, call it a ten-day journey sure. to Santerra. Also, is the um... What do you want to call it on the board? Updated? The date? The date, yes. Cool. Just wanted to make sure. Thank you. Yeah. Yep, it's um, updated. It is the second of Serenus. Alright. Let's get our shit and go, I suppose. Oh, I wanted to buy more alcohol. <laughs> I want to get a couple more <laughs> bottles of cider. <laughs> you can easily get a couple more bottles of cider. How much would that run me, would you think? Uh, pop a couple silver off your sheet and you've got more. Sure. I'll get, like, four bottles for, I don't know... What do I have in here? I had it listed for how much silver I got for the other... Three bottles of cider for two silver is what I had put down, so, like... All right, get your spend three silver, get four bottles. The math doesn't work. Sure, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they gave you a deal. Yeah, There's yeah. A sale going on. God damn it! I hate when the sheet reloads. I just want to put my three bottles of cider, please. I just want my cider. I just want my cider. <laughs> and I want to update my gold because I don't know. Yeah, it didn't update. God. Is there any other things in Camlin that you guys really 
are itching to get done before you leave. Uh, no, the things I wanted to get done, I would have done yesterday, and I guess we'll talk about that sometime this week. We will. Not overly. <gasps> yeah, I think... I just noticed the gay Star Trek sticker on your laptop. Wait, is that that is Star Trek, right? Yeah, it is. That's definitely Spock and Kirk. Sorry. Yes. Hello. Oh uh, yeah. If you are saying you're muted. Oh, rip Asterisk. Yeah. Uh, Asterisk's Tumblr oh. is Kirk Spock, so yes, it is Kirk and Spock. Nice. Nice. Um, but um. in, in, in either case, Adder wants to stop at Lana's to get some pond water ice cream. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let's get you right. some ice I was, cream. I was going to ask, does, uh, do, do the food spoil in a bag of holding? Yes. Okay. Is there something equivalent that, is there like a portable fridge is at all. <laughs> bag of holding. Bag of holding, yes. Yeah, there is. Okay, think okay, cool. I'll I'll look into buying one of those then um after when we discuss the yeah. Yeah, I will I will find you a price for a bag of holding. You could probably get a pretty cheap one from the Nagas Arcana if I'm being honest. Um yeah. Well, yeah. But we will see. Uh the hmm. prices there are arbitrary. Yeah. Based on my <laughs> mood. Yeah, and the, the, the price is definitely they will state a number, and it, they will state a number, and if they like your vibes, they will give you a discount. <laughs> Three hundred gold? No, two seventy. <laughs> exactly. That's that's what they do the whole time. It's great. Um, but yeah, you guys can make quick. And I feel like if they don't like your vibes, the number creeps higher. <laughs> Who's to say what happens when they don't like your vibes? Hopefully, you'll never have to find out. Um. You guys um, can have an ice cream pit stop. Nice. Yes. And then uh, get on the road to Sonterra. Yeah. Is there any and interesting Pondwater... ice cream flavors before we go? Yeah. Pond water is uh, a place that sells a, a spice cream. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Lana's place um, sells, I don't remember what the name of the pond water ice cream actually is. But that's the glowing ice cream that has the bioluminescent algae from the pond in it. Um, mm. And and that's what Adder wants. Uh, they also yeah. sell the spice cream. Yeah, um, I'm going to pick up some spice cream for my uh, <laughs> fire breathing component. God, God bless. Um, and you also, uh, yeah, so you're looking, you're, there's sort of a rotating cast of featured flavors. Um, and, and one catches your eye that's like, Deep sea flavored. Ooh. Oh my <laughs> what god. Can I ask what is it what it tastes like? Or is it just it's like, like the is it just taste you, like you can get the, the sample sea. spoon? I would like yeah. to you sample, can get a sample it. spoon. <laughs> is this one um, of the known okay, flavors? I'm, it, so I'm going to I'm going to turn my camera on and I'm oh going to god. show you what this oh, what no. this tastes like. Hmm. No. Oh my god. You are kidding me. No, not Old Spice um, Deep Sea. Oh god. No. It's like Old Spice Deep Sea with ocean elements, and I don't have a better way of describing this. Oh, Jesus um, Christ. So foul, it crashed my like? Discord. God. It, it's, it smells like Old nice. Spice Deep Sea with ocean elements. Um, oh my god. <laughs> it, 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 but... it destroyed Astris's Discord. God, God the bless. curse. I feel like Soot gets it part the way in his mouth, and then like, if they if there's like a cup that comes with it, he just kind of like puts it back in the cup, um, and just thank you for the experience. I don't think I enjoyed that one very much. You can <laughs> discard the sample spoon and the little sample spoon discarding uh, thing, and they will give you a, a different flavor if you want. Yeah, maybe okay. a little taste of the vanilla might help. <laughs> okay, they give you they give you a scoop of vanilla. Um Skylar caught a whiff of that and was like, Oh, is why are you eating my deodorant? 
there's also, there's, there's, there's also um, timber ice cream. God. Next, they're going to oh be selling God. pine. <laughs> it tastes like, like well, that's timber, a Christmas timber, thing. Timber tastes like pine trees. Oh my Victor, god. Victor will, also, Victor will also have tried both. Um, god bless. Um, as well. uh, the pine, the, the, the timber one is actually way better than the deep sea one. Um, it's not. Like, it's, really? there's a woodiness to it, but not necessarily a bad like there is the, the inherent sweetness of ice cream that mixes yeah. with with that sort of bitterness it's not bad yeah people make pine uh tea and stuff so it's like it's not it's, unusual it's not crazy like this one is probably not a strictly gnome flavor there's probably non-gnomes who enjoy this one <laughs> um, deep sea you're just like mm, and that's a gnome that's a gnome thing and, <gasps> yeah that's that's uh, those are your ice cream experiences. If we are doing this as like a party trip, I will absolutely get like an actual thing of the spice cream rather than just the little sample spoon that was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, no, I bought I, a pint. Aya enjoys the scoop of the spice cream. Um, you do. Right, you have a you. I we're gonna retroactively give you a bag of, of colding. So I was just like Skylar, yeah. you know the spice cream melts, right? But no, you have a bag yeah, of colding. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the caveat with a bag of colding uh -huh. is that you're going to set it to a temperature, and that's the temperature it's gonna be at. So it's cold enough to keep your ice cream cold. So you have a freezer. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's you what I was have ideally a, hoping for. Yeah, you don't have a mini fridge. You have a freezer. Just to clarify, so if you yeah, put beverages yeah. in here, you got to take them out in like ten minutes because otherwise they're going to be. Oh, they explode. Yeah, bad. like you can't keep uh, eggs in there, but you keep like meat and stuff in there. Yeah, you cannot keep eggs in your bag of folding. I'm very sorry. Um, that is but fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, you, yeah. So Aya has spice cream. Uh, Skylar has spice cream. There's other ice cream flavors also. Regular oh, no. ones. What I'm going to do flavor. is I'm going to offer her a drink, a sip of my uh, energy drink and say, do you think this would make a good ice cream? <laughs> she will She will try your energy drink. Uh -huh. And you, you watch her eyes. <laughs> oh, are, no! Her eyes are blue. A nice, you know, sort of light light blue eyes and she takes a sip and as she's standing there like tasting it in her mouth her eyes turn almost turquoise they get so <laughs> bright as you're watching her and she she says that this would absolutely make a great ice cream flavor uh, fantastic and so what Skylar will do then is give her one of her other energy drinks I have them down to two now uh, I need to make more and then she will uh, they will write down the recipe and say now you have to promise not to let anyone else see this swear all recipes are proprietary information I uh, fantastic and then slide it over <laughs> incredible you just did you just did a, a fucking what is effectively a drug deal with a gnome um yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh experience <laughs> uh lana now is going to be able to produce fucked up evil energy drink ice cream and that's gonna be a problem later no no uh, you're gonna get people yeah. addicted <laughs> uh, I, I am content uh, as long as aya knows which flavor to avoid oh, because no. i don't think you know about that energy drink though we're gonna no, we're she gonna... doesn't we're gonna deal with that later the next time you're in Camlin, we're really gonna have to see what goes on if you stop by Lana's. Um, <laughs> no, we were gonna get addicted into the ice cream. <laughs> I, I will, a little warning, you know, uh, cautionary, high caffeine addiction, uh, caffeine, possible caffeine addiction, like, underlined. God. But, you know, uh, it's Lana's a caffeine no, addiction. and will not warn people about this. Oh, fantastic. Uh, excellent. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sid is also gonna get Lana... some of the pond water ice, uh, ice cream too. <laughs> Either yeah, that or share can, with you Adder. Can... <laughs> uh, you guys can share can share a cone of pond water ice cream, and uh, I I believe I had an actual name for the pond water ice cream, but I don't, I don't remember it. So I don't remember it either. Pond water ice cream now. Um, 
There's also blue pineapple ice cream. Interesting. Like blue raspberry? <laughs> but, yes, but, but blue pineapple. Oh my god. I want to like try that. I want to try that. I'll try it too. Yeah. It yeah, tastes I like so I kind of want to try the blue pineapple. Right. <laughs> um, as in, not it tastes like pineapple, but the ice cream is blue. The ice cream is not blue. The ice cream tastes like pineapple, but it's blue. No, I know the way what you that, mean. Uh, yeah, that's that's what it tastes like. Um, blue but, has its own distinct flavor. Yeah, it does. It, it does. That's why blue raspberry is the way that it is. This yeah. is blue pineapple. Yeah. Uh, Victor's kind of into it, actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's actually Victor. Sure you're trying it. And you're like, all right, okay. Yeah, it's like fruity. It's tart. It's good. Damn right, it's fruity. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, ice cream trip successful. And you Aww. guys can get on the road. If there road. is nothing else you would like to do. Yeah, let's go. All right. Road time. The time on road. The time, the time wind road. Um, it's you guys weird. end up taking uh, the quickest way to get to Santerra is actually taking the western road out of Camlin, uh, and then turning north later. Okay. Um, so you would end up heading west to the different road than the one you had previously taken, um, and this one is better this is one this one is more heavily frequented than uh the north road that you take although that wasn't like a a dead road by any means this one is a lot more active yes uh do you guys get up to anything on the road any conversations any specific things as you're starting out this trip? i'm gonna do this in blocks we're not gonna go day by day because it's like a 10 day mm -hmm. trip so we'll do it in like three day-ish blocks. Um, can I spend some time uh, going back through my history book and uh, like tracking mentions of, of Mudspinner? You absolutely can go back through your history book tracking mentions of Mudspinner. So it's... He's really only mentioned the twice. Um, mm -hmm. Although it is specified that like he was the guy on staff for the Grand Duke's household, um, just in case. Like, he was the guy, like, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, you don't, you mm -hmm. don't want to have to call that guy, but he was the guy on call. Um, yeah. And it is specifically stated that um, he was not the regular guy who would have been doing that task at the prison. Mm-hmm. But was called in for it. Um, and it doesn't give a reason why, but there's some gossipy, speculative shit about, like, you know, couldn't trust the other guy, like. I'm gonna kind of, uh, spend some time specifically, like, on the, the sections around those particular, like, bodies and the deaths. Um, yeah. As well, if that makes sense. Yeah, for sure. Um, Refamiliarize re myself with the details. Yeah. Um, the... Yeah. Sorry. I was going to ask if I could make some Cure Light Wounds and Mage Armor potions. Yeah, so you can... Nice. Um... Let me just open up. So may I commission you for those uh, mage armor potions. <laughs> also, while that's happening, I would like to point out to Asterisk, uh, one of the horses is very specifically Victor's. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is... Like it when... Yeah, but she does not like no. it when anyone else is like messing with the horse. That's fu her fucking horse. Uh, yeah. Okay, the other one is technically asked... not play, So. Yeah, if Ash, she's like, I paid for this horse, it's my horse. 
Yeah, and the other one is um, the the one that is Victor's is named Theo. Um, the other one is Ellie or uh, Eloise. Um, and I would at night time I would be oh my god he sure is a blue pineapple duh um I'm going <laughs> at night time I'm going to uh, make uh more fucked up and evil energy drinks. Okay, uh, it's gonna be a. Sorry, I'm just reading. I'm trying to remember how potions work. Mm-hmm. Take your time. Local bitch remembers how potions work. Do you have the brew potion feet, Astris? Yes, Cauldron oh, gives okay. it to me. Oh, okay, so, okay. okay, that's probably something I'll take next, then, because I didn't know there was a whole feat for that. Yeah, okay, that's for cool. potion specifically. Okay, sorry, I'm just looking for oh, okay. cauldron things for the texture. There we go. Yeah, okay. So you oh, would wait. you would have you talked up on your um Oh I do have the alchemy feet, if that might mean something. Uh I maybe. I'm trying to remember how potions work. Um, Sorry. But you, <laughs> you're good. You uh would have had to spend money for the raw materials while you were in town. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I was going to but, buy a bunch of alchemy stuff and yeah. They, that's fine. Uh you're Make an alchemy check for your energy drinks, Danella. You can brew. I don't think you need to make a roll for it. Or... Okay, cool. I don't think you need to make a roll for it, uh, Astros. So you can make as many as you would have had raw materials for. Um, each potion. Uh, is 50 gold is its base price, so mm -hmm. you would use up 25 gold of material for each potion that you brew, for mage armor and cure light wounds specifically. Mm -hmm. um, and I got a 23. So, 23. Your energy drinks are fucked up and evil. Um, yeah. And you can make, <gasps> we'll say you can make uh, an additional uh, three. Hell yeah, now back to four, baby. I think during the time um, on the road, Soot's gonna try and do some listening. Yeah, absolutely. See Make a listen check. See if there's anything interesting in, in... Up in there. What is that? I can't see. It's too dark. Oh, that's so dark. Theo is wearing his new, his new harness. Oh, yay! Good. Where is my listen stuff? That's... Uh, that's a 19? Uh, 19 for listen check. Okay, cool. Also, it is 10 o'clock, so I should probably get to bed soon. Yeah, well, well let me just do a couple more, like, wrap-up yeah. information things, and then we can call it. Sounds good. Okay. And, uh... Hello. So it a check. 17. Okay. Um, 19, actually. 19, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know if it affects anything, but, you know. <laughs> I'll be real, I base the DCs for listen checks off of my vibes of any given situation, so. Yeah. Um, 
Well, the good news is, since this is a three-day block, I can update the counter. <laughs> oh, yes, and I can update the... Uh... Oh, I love that we have a Victor has been harassed and then times that Victor has harassed somebody else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to our goal should always be to make them equal. <laughs> it's been too many days since, Vic <laughs> since Victor's been harassed. Quickly, guys. <laughs> um As you are as you are it's the middle of the afternoon. Uh, on your third day of travel so far, um, fair enough, fifth. And someone overtakes you on the road, riding a horse, um, and passes, passes your, uh, wagon cart set up, and, uh, they slow. They they were riding rather fast, and as they pass you, they slow. And and they they uh, look look over you all. Some of you are in the car. Some of you are walking alongside. Whatever whatever is um, most comfortable for everyone. If it's obvious mm -hmm. they're looking at us, I think Soot very much would be hiding his face. Mm hmm. But not in, like, an obvious, like? like, I'm shady, but more like a, oh, I happen to be looking off to the side and not at whoever's beside us. And, uh, what did they look like? Um, that's a great question. They're wearing a hat. And they pause a little bit. Um, and smile. They smile at you. At me? At, at the whole party. Oh. At all of you. And then they look specifically at Fern. Ooh. Ooh. And they say, Hello, Fern. Good to see you again. Sorry, I've got to run, but Glad to see you're headed this way. And then they uh, kick their horse and take off down the road again. I mm. I fucking hate you. <laughs> no, and you that's don't. where oh. we'll call this session. Um, uh, yeah. uh, hey, uh, very, very quick question. Uh, would Fern like that person to be stabbed or kicked? <laughs> You know, what? it's the funniest thing. It almost doesn't matter. Because you guys remember that somebody came and greeted you on the road. Just now. Yeah. Who knows what they look like? You do remember that happening. <laughs> they smiled at you. You, you remember them smiling at you. But yeah. none of the details of the person are... Yeah, it's the funniest thing. You don't know who that was. You don't yeah. remember who that was. Hmm. Great. God. No, but I was asking out of character so that if there comes a point, would Fern like that person to be stabbed or kicked? I feel like that question is kind of irrelevant. Fern doesn't really know who that is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it also makes me so interested about what I got in my whispers. Mm. <laughs> hmm. It's fuck it's fucking omelet guy. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> also, um, just to put it in recording a little bit, I think so it would have like I don't know what day this was of our travel, but like so it would have been like, hmm. This is the same sort of shit that they were talking about earlier with the uh more things coming back up, I guess. I think we're in a shitstorm now. <laughs> I don't know what it means. I just hear it. All right. <laughs> just be wary. 
And that's about where he's going to leave it because he doesn't fucking understand. <laughs> Who knows what those fuckers talk about? <laughs> yeah.